How's it going today, everybody? This is Kedjimi Attic to your host. Sorry for not posting last Friday. Work got super, super crazy. So, but today, Monday, we are reviewing this brand new figure I just unboxed. This is the Marusan 350 Godzilla 1989 Sparkle Glitter Red Eyes version figure. Yes, yes, yes. This is the header card that comes with it because these come in a bag. A little different than the uh, the Bandai figures. But yep, this was released last year. Um, I don't exactly remember when, um, but I saw a picture of it recently and I had to have it. Also this year, I want to get more Safubi figures and continue growing my Bandai collection. So it's a win-win. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to Toku Toy Town. This is where I got this figure. Um, just thought I would mention them here in case you guys see this and you want this figure or if you want other Safubi options, uh, they are a great place to go search them out. Um, I know these guys are out of stock. This was their last one, um, but maybe they'll get a few more. So if you guys happen to like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. We're posting videos almost every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, and then sometimes throughout the week you get extra stuff in the middle or at the end of the week. So, let's bring it in, take a closer look. With these Safubi reviews, we're going to do a little bit different uh, style, just because, you know, you don't really rate these on accuracy. It's more about the actual, like, the finish of the figure, the finished product. So, as I said, this is a glitter, uh, a clear glitter figure, and then he specifically has gold teeth and red eyes. Um, so we're going to look at how this actually you know, how this finished product looks rather than reviewing it as like an 89 figure, the accuracy and all that. So as you guys can see, the glitter on this is absolutely impressive. This is infused. So it's, uh, so they mold the figure and then when they're putting this finish, the final mold of it, they inject glitter into the figure and you get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful look. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at that. You cannot tell me that does not look good. That is impressive. Actually impressive. I'm shocked at how good this looks. I've seen quite a few pictures of this on the Collect All Monsters group and on Instagram. And don't get me wrong, it's always looked good. But man, is this thing impressive in person. I am so glad I was able to pick one of these up. Uh, this figure looks awesome. Let's get a close look at that face. Yeah, that's definitely 89. Look at how nice that glitter looks. I love the eyes and the teeth. Um, the teeth are a little bit hard to see. They do get lost in the glitter from a distance. So if I were to put them back here, you know, you can kind of see it, but they do kind of get lost, but that's pretty much fine because this figure looks impressive. So that's kind of what I want to focus on is how does this figure look as an end product? Because they announce colorways, they announce different variations of these figures, and I want to actually focus on um, the actual, the, the announcement and how the figure looks. And I've got to say this figure is impressive. Um, you know, it looks incredible. This is going to catch people's eyes. Um, I normally don't post things on Snapchat and stuff, but I might have to brag about this a little bit <laughs> because it's great. Um, so this is definitely an eye-catching figure, uh, putting light behind it. It's a very unique experience. If you guys want to see photos of that, I will be posting photos on my Instagram at Kajime Addict. Please go follow that. Uh, go follow the channel or that page. <laughs> I normally post uh, behind the scenes photos and kind of extra photos of my reviews there. And if I haven't, I will be doing so from here on out, especially with these Safubi figures, because that's a big thing is the photos of it. I can't do crazy things in the review here. Um, until I can get an editing software and then we can start doing some cool stuff, throwing pictures in there. But until I got something better than what I've got, the video is just going to have to do. But I do want to compare it to a few other Safubi figures that you may have. Um, so the first one is a figure. I've actually reviewed both of these figures. This is the Marmot Awakening Shin. I believe this is the red purple version as the official name. I think that's the name I put on the, the video. But so this guy's larger. Uh, this is like a 10 and a half, 11 inch figure. Uh, the Mara Sangozi is nine and a half, I think. Nine, nine, nine and a half. And then we also have the Metacom uh, Howling Screaming Bio Goji, which also is great. I don't know why these are so weird. <laughs> uh, 
That's what he looks like next to him. Two Heisei Godzillas. So this guy's like seven, seven and a half. And I didn't grab him, but I'm going to grab him quick. Because we can't talk about glitter figures in my collection unless we also obviously include the Bandai Forever series glitter bomb Godzilla, who's still got his bag on him. I'm trying to get keep dust off of him because I don't know how to clean him yet. But uh, yeah, look at that. Look at these two figures. Until I get up my official Safubi shelf uh, bought. There we go. Let's let's move that. Oh, oh, oh God, they look so cool together. Oh my goodness. Uh ha. Yes, this is this is the Fubi collection. I get it now. I didn't get it as a kid. I get it now. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm in love with this figure. He looks so so good next to this uh, Disco Godzilla. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. I'm just gonna leave those two up for the the rest of the review. That's that's absolutely dead gorgeous. It's such a it's such a yin yang type of thing where. He's got the black and gold, and he's got the clear, and he's got, like, the trans, the uh, iridescent glitter. You know, there's gold in there, but there's blues and other other different uh, uh, sparkles in there. So it's a really cool, like, side-by-side -side comparison. Man, oh, man, what can I say? What can I say? So the ending of this video, the ending, the review, the the rate, um, as I said, it's, it's not about accuracy. It's about how good the figure looks in this variant. And, or, you know, if it's a paint job, so like all the, the Hedoras that are out there, you know, I've got my eye on one that I think is the best that I've seen that isn't $500, <laughs> you know, because it's exclusive. You know, the Godzilla Store exclusive Gigans that are coming out this year. Um, those ones I might, you know, I might play and depend on, get a few and then sell, you know, the ones that I don't like and then keep the one I think looks the best. So I think that's how I want to do these reviews this year. So, but this guy is easily getting a 10 out of 10. This figure is absolutely impressive. If you guys can find one, I would recommend getting it if you have the money. These figures are normally about $340. So they are expensive, mind you. But I, you know, at first I didn't get it. I get it. This figure is gorgeous. <laughs> if I can find a 450 by Alante, I'm probably gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie to have a biolante uh with some kind of different color scheme to go with this bio goji is gonna look epic so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review these safubi reviews are gonna be different i've got one towards the end of the year that is 100 percent, or not the end of the year end of the week maybe next monday um i'll be getting that i have a very very exclusive uh <laughs> mondo figure coming in that i'm super excited about so <laughs> sorry that these are <laughs> kind of all over the place this is exciting. I'm so excited to start this kind of new chapter with my collecting and uh, reviews. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. Comment your thoughts. Comment your excitement. Or maybe maybe you don't like Safubi. Tell me why. You know, I, I'm down to listen. I'm down to chat with you guys in the comments. And I will very, very, very excitingly see you guys in the next video. This is Kaiju May Addict, your host, signing off. And as I always say, peace, rock on, and please stay safe, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.